Beauty Seekers, I was gonna post a review today, but it would have been in bad taste due to current events in the news, and so instead I'm going to be doing pad foot and prongs playing with your emotions tag, and I tag all of you. Every single one of you. You are now watching Elizzie's books. So let's get along with this tag. Basically what you do is uh, pair a book with an emotion, and that's what we're gonna do today. And I've got my handy dandy notebook. Computer. So the first emotion is what book makes you happy? And that will be the Georgia Nicholson series, and that's a book that is definitely under the hashtag YA saves for me because of the fact that it helped me through a lot of terrible times in high school because we all know that's a terrible time for a lot of people. Not everybody, but a lot of people. Uh, the next emotion is what book makes you feel sad? And I'm gonna take this as more of like emotional roller co coaster rather than sad because uh, two of my favorite books that I've read this, so far this year have been The Fault in Our Stars by John Green and then Such a Rush by Jennifer Eccles. And those books, like, even though I did sob during The Fault in Our Stars and I needed to take breaks and things like that and I had to read a book to recover from that book, I read Bossy Pants, but, um, and that book can go under happy books, but it's one of the, those two books are books that, like, just take you on that ride and you're just like, I oh my word, like emotions, all of the emotions, because there are good parts, there are bad parts, and there are sad parts, and they're just great, great writing. And I feel like that's that's really what you need to do to get my attention, is just have these emotional roller coaster kind of books, but also the happy books are really good as well. And the next question is, what book makes you angry? And I'm gonna take this more as like, what book makes you frustrated? And that would be uh, Innocent Darkness, and I forget the name of the author, it's like Suzanne Lazier. I feel like it was more frustrating because there are these like parts of the like scenes and stuff like that where it, there would just be a lot of sexual tension and things and leading up to, but uh, nothing actually would happen. And so I felt like that was distracting from like what was actually happening in the world, in their world. A book that makes me nostalgic would be Dash and Lily's Book of Dares, not necessarily because I shared a notebook of dares with somebody else, but because I shared a blog at one point with one of my friends and we would write stories back and forth and it was basically the same story but different chapters of that story and basically kind of like fan fiction but a little bit different. But, you know, it made me nostalgic for that of, like, you know, sharing a blog, a notebook, whatever you want to call it, with another person. The next question is, what book makes you scared? And, um, this is more like edge of your seat kind of stuff. A lot of books? No, uh, but just, uh, Shine by Lauren Miracle because there's a lot of, like, edge of your seat kind of stuff. Uh, I Hunt Killers by Barry Liga, Across the Universe by Beth Revis because there are some pretty intense scenes. I don't want to ruin the book for anybody, but it's just intense kind of stuff. And guns and drugs and things and crazy stuff in outer space. What book makes you surprised? And that would be Hourglass by Mira McIntyre. And that's one of those books that I really didn't look into what the story was about before I read it. And you know, it's one of those books where you start reading it and you don't really like assume too much. You're just like, oh, she sees stuff. And then further on you're like, whoa, there's a lot more to this world than I thought there was. The next question is, uh, what book makes you feel disappointed? Um, I don't know. Not too disappointed by very many books. I mean, like, there were books in high school that I didn't really like, but it wasn't necessarily disappointing. What book makes you feel distressed? And, um, this kind of goes back to the emotional roller coaster bit. Um, I would say Such a Rush by Jennifer Eccles because there are points in that book where you're like, holy crap, this plane is about to crash and it's scary. Oh my gosh. I was just like, oh, is she gonna survive? And that's kind of distressing. Just, just a little bit. The next question is what book makes you feel confused? Um, I feel like there really aren't very many. Uh, I know when I started reading Every Day by David Levithan, just, you, this character just changes so much that, like, you're like, whoa, 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 where is he waking up now? Especially at the beginning of the book, because you're like, this character, it, it's not he, it's like an it, because the soul kind of travels, or the being kind of travels into different people's, uh, heads and things like that every day, changes, different person, all the time, and you can kind of get that it's a little confusing, but um, basically just 
at first it's definitely confusing because you're like what is happening but um yeah if you want to do this tag feel free to do that set it as a video response to this or to Raylene's video she's Padfoot and Prongs 07 if you didn't know and you should go check out her channel because she was one of the people who did the booktuber collab challenge and that was a lot of fun to watch so you should go check out those kinds of videos and things like that so links below and I hope you all have a great day and creep re keep creep reading keep reading